I fully admit my own personal preference for living in a multicultural society, and conversely, there's no point in denouncing people who are opposed to multiculturalism or people who simply have a personal preference for living in something a little bit more monocultural. I say that I like multiculturalism. It's just a matter of personal preference. It doesn't mean that um, I want to forcibly standardize society and engineer everybody to be exactly the same uh, any more than someone who doesn't like uh, living in a multicultural society wants to create something resembling a planetary apartheid. The one simply doesn't follow the other, although considering what is at stake here in this gigantic demographic problem which, if anything, is going to probably accelerate, emotions are simply going to run high whether we like it or not. However, I think that we really have to understand the other side's point of view, and as someone who actually is in favor of a multicultural society, I would like to at least attempt to get a grasp of what multiculturalism's opponents actually hope to accomplish in opposing multiculturalism. The problem is, of course, that the objections to multiculturalism often contradict each other, and it's difficult to figure out what it is that is being objected to. Multiculturalism is criticized for trying to produce a standardized, politically correct society, when one could just as easily accuse a monoculture of doing that. In fact, I would say that a monoculture has a lot more tools ready to hand to enforce conformity than a multicultural society would. The entire point of living in a multicultural society is diversity. Um, and the other side of the coin, the other side of the uh, criticism is that multiculturalism will create a situation of moral anarchy, if you will, where it's never clear what the core values of society are. Now, I can understand that because society has to have certain assumptions or it ceases to be society. Um, but we either are going to criticize something for one thing or we're going to criticize it for another. You can't criticize something simultaneously for having diametrically opposed attributes. We have to figure out what it is about multiculturalism that we're criticizing before we can, we can even make a coherent case for being opposed to it. This is an important discussion that's going to get more important as time goes by. The world is changing. The phenomenon of demographic change is, if anything, going to increase at a near geometric rate. We've got to face this problem and we've got to face it sanely and calmly. We've also got to develop some sort of consensus on how we're going to deal with it.